Remember Howie Mandel? Deal or no deal? It's not so funny now that this could happen to something so serious like your relationship and your intimate significant other. Or is it? Red flags can make or break your potential relationship. And here are seven red flags to watch out for. Number one, your core values don't align with each other. It's one thing when you don't enjoy the same food or activities, but it's another thing when you both disagree on certain values. For example, how money or time should be spent. People get into relationships for the wrong reasons all the time. In general, people are driven by sexual attraction, but we disregard whether the person is good for us in the long run. Number two, you stop laughing together. When the honeymoon phase is fizzling out, do you suddenly realize that they're no longer such a comedian and the jokes and topics are actually not so funny or sexy? Noted by UC Berkeley psychology professor, Dasher Keltner, for couples who divorced on average 13.9 years after they were married, it was the absence of laughter that predicted the end of their bond. Number three, you have different lifestyles and goals. As mentioned before, if you like dogs and they like cats, then that's okay. But if you like crocheting at home and playing with your cat while watching Netflix and they need to hang out with their bros, going bar hopping and tailgating all the time, or if you ultimately want to build a family and live in a white picketed house with kids running around and they wanna be the next Charlie Sheen, then it's probably not the best match. Number four, you don't trust each other. Do you genuinely believe what they say? How much of what they say triggers an alarm? Do their actions align with their words? Do you stalk their social media for countless hours trying to figure out if they're honest or vice versa? This is a huge red flag. Number five, you're both toxic to each other. No one is perfect. Everyone has a story. Everyone is flawed in their own ways, and that's okay. What matters is that we're able to be a support for each other or do our own healing. However, if we're not aware of our trauma and triggers, we may unconsciously end up being toxic to one another. Number six, either one of you is not committed. Successful relationships require commitment. Sometimes our past trauma make us feel broken or insecure. We may have unresolved trust issues or a fear of intimacy. If that's the case, it's important to address them together or seek professional couple counseling. And number seven, you don't see a future together. Even though you're happy together now, perhaps you don't really see a future together. Perhaps your goals and theirs don't align anymore. Perhaps there's someone out there better for one of you you start questioning things. While it's normal to have what ifs in a relationship, it's another thing if you can't picture this person in your future. If you identify with some of these red flags, it's best to communicate them as early as possible to your partner. You might risk losing your relationship right away, but at least you will know whether your partner is ready to address the issues together. If possible, couples counseling is not a bad idea these days. Do you relate to any of these signs? Can you share your stories below on how you may have overcome some of these red flags? If you like our content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Psych2Go. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.